back to my channel. This video is a bit different. I've decided I'm going to share more of behind the scenes of ELR or should now be known as Rella, which is super exciting. I'll go more into that later. Didn't expect to be starting this series slash vlog from bed in my pyjamas, but Anthony is on the way back from London. He's been in London with our paid media team today. And I thought, you know what? Me and Maxi are in bed. I've just washed my tan off, ready for shooting tomorrow and I've got a big week ahead. What a better time than to start. Today we had such a good day and I wish I had vlogged it because it was non-stop. We had a casting for a model that we're hopefully gonna book tomorrow and shoot on Wednesday. I'm always that last minute, honestly. Then tomorrow I'm shooting in the studio reels and social content for our new drop of all the dress in the new teal shade and the Zinfandel shade, which I know so many people are gonna be obsessed with. And then when I've shot those, we've got one-to-ones all day with the team, me and Anthony, so it's gonna be a really busy day tomorrow. I have got the biggest spot, like honestly, for the last two weeks, I have had cold sores up my nose, I've had this constant breakout on my chin and on my forehead. I'm like, I don't want anyone to take my photo. And I've literally got the most busiest week constantly. My skin is the worst it's looked in ages, but I'm gonna sit and put my LED mask on in a second and watch some Netflix before Anthony comes home. I've got emails. Oh, I'm suffocating, I'm drowning. But we have some exciting news. We are actually hiring another person. So that will be 10 members of staff, which is crazy to say we're not even four years old yet. We're three, three and a bit years old and we're looking for our 10th member of staff, which is just crazy. And it gets a bit, gets a bit overwhelming at times to be managing people, but we definitely need another person to come on board and just, yeah, be a part of all of the amazing things we've got planned for 2025. We actually had a meeting today as well, which I forgot to mention, where we signed off all spring summer 2025. <laughs> Just kind of a big deal. Um, forgot to mention that. But yeah, I wish I could show you that, but some things need to be kept a surprise. But we signed everything off. Everything that you love is coming back bigger and better. And we've also got a few things that we've never done before that we're trying. And then we've also left a bit of room to be reactive to what you want in summer. Um, so yeah, what's going on? I'm gonna stop rambling and take you with us on our week. I'm gonna put on my LED mask and just try and make myself look the best I can possibly look when I feel like utter crap for tomorrow's shoot. <laughs> Good morning! So I am ready, I just got to the office, I quickly had a sign off meeting with Anthony before I was leaving. We've got the budget secured and we're going to book Julie right now for tomorrow's shoot. So I'm about to start filming the new all addresses and the social content but then Evie's just arrived so she's going to get everything ready and all the sizes for Julie for tomorrow. Pack my car up so that then tomorrow we can go straight in the morning to York really excited. It's gonna just be so good to show different diversities of ages and body shapes and heights and bus sizes in this Christmas campaign. So I'm really happy that Anthony's just signed that off because I was a bit, not worried, but kind of like just, sometimes it's hard for him to see the vision that I have and I'm not the best at explaining like what I'm trying to achieve. Um, me and Anthony are like yin and yang. So he's like all about finance and growing the business and, really like logical and i'm like creative airy fairy like <laughs> i think the budget is endless and he has to like rein me back in and there's not a chance this brand would be thriving like it is if it wasn't for him because i live in la la world when it comes to like we can do this let's do that so yeah um it's good that he reigns me in basically so yeah Busy morning. We've also got one to ones this afternoon with all the team. I did bribe them yesterday with everybody got a pair of slippers, and then I also did soup and bread lunch before we went into our 
um, campaign meeting. So I'm hoping that the feedback on our one-to-ones is that everybody is happy because <laughs> I love to do these like little cute days for the girls. And yeah, I think it's just good to have these regular one-to-ones just to make sure everyone's happy and feeling supported. And um, yeah, obviously it's a really busy time right now um, with being Q4, but still make sure we've got time to chat to every single team member individually one-on-one -on -one and just make sure everyone's happy and what their goals are for the next few months. I'm gonna go get going. I need to put some curlers in my hair because it's a bit frizzy right now. Um, but I'll show you what I've got on. So I am shooting the Andy skirt, the new Orla in teal, which I'm so excited to try, the new Zinfandel Orla to try, and the Charlotte in teal now too. And then I've got some other bits from Primark and Tesco that I'm gonna pop on with these bits as well. And my outfit right now is chaotic. I'm gonna put my hair in curls quickly and then get shooting. Yeah, I do understand her and it's on my desk. Need Anthony to get me some more Wave at my vlog, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she'd run away. <laughs> Glad for I've got my slippers on. Can I, is everybody wearing their slippers? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so proud. Of I'm saying that we've got one to ones today, but I bribed you all with these slippers so that you have to give me a good, good route. Literally, everyone's got slippers at their desk. Jen, have you? Jen's even got her slippers on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jen's got memory foam so she can have easy access to up and down stairs. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going down here? We're busy, busy. We've got the Lolas going out. Look at them, they're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, it's on its way. So Jen, how's it going down here? Busy, busy, busy. Lots to do. Orders are flying out. People want to know how many steps she's done. Be over at uh, what? 10,000 steps already. I filming shot all the new bodysuits and new colours that are coming so I'll show you everything that I've just shot as a little sneaky peek preview. Evie, I'm gonna show you what Evie's doing. Evie's just packing up everything to be put away for the shoot tomorrow in Julie's size and my size and then planning the outfits and all the social content. Ready for tomorrow! <laughs> Can you hear this noise? This is my car alerting me that the passenger needs to put their seatbelt on and the passenger is actually a giant parcel to go to ITV because we've just had a call in for loose women which is so exciting <laughs> so exciting it's that big that it actually thinks it's a, it's a person sat on when I pull up I'll show you just how big it is and that we're sending so many exciting bits stuff that's not even been released yet so really fingers crossed hope that they wear something because it's just the best feeling. Charlene is amazing. She's such such a lovely, lovely person, and she always like comments on our posts and supports the brand. And I just yeah, we're just so lucky that we have such an amazing relationship with so many people. It's just the best. This is the parcel. Look at the size of it. It's it's a baby. It's a small child. Gosh, I'm so tired right now. We just finished four hours of one-to-ones and then I did a video to go live to show the first sneak peek of the teal that's going live on Thursday. Finalized the model and everything for tomorrow and now I'm going to take my makeup off and make some tea and I'll see you tomorrow for our York shoot. Honestly, I've been up since 4am. <laughs> My team actually hate me right now because I've just decided that we're not launching on the 1st of November because it doesn't feel like the right thing to do. It can have a state of me. It's been, it's been a night. So I've just had this like epiphany this morning at 4am. It was like I was dreaming, but I was awake. I know that sounds crazy. I actually think I am a little bit crazy right now. It's going to be a disaster if we post, if we launch on the 1st of November. So we need to launch sooner because everybody really wants the sequins. Obviously, the shoot is today, guys. The shoot is today, which is today is Wednesday. So that would mean that the launch is a week from today. And we've shot all the e so we're really prepared in that regard. But 
I've just got this feeling, this like instinctual feeling. We should not launch the teal tomorrow and we should just merge everything together because nobody wants to pay for shipping twice. I don't know what, what I was thinking. Like, why have I thought this way? Why have I thought about doing these split campaigns? What an idiot. I messaged the team at 8am this morning. I was like, guys, what do we think about doing the Christmas launch a week early? Well, it's not even a week early, really. It's a few days early, but... um. Everyone's like, okay, there's quite a lot to do in that space of time, which I agree there is. This means now that this Saturday is Chloe Mitchell's engagement party, which I'm so excited to celebrate with her because she just deserves the world. She's like the nicest girl. Um, so I'm gonna shoot the YouTube try on on Saturday before we go to the engagement party, which is three hour drive. And then I'll edit the YouTube video in the car on the way down to Chloe's engagement party while Anthony drives. And then that can go live on the Wednesday as a try on so you can see everything that we're launching on the day of the launch. So basically now the shoot is today, tomorrow I'm going to London to create a fest. Then I've got that new look dinner. Friday I'll be traveling home, probably need to sleep on Friday, definitely. Saturday I'll be filming reels and YouTube video, Sunday off. Thank, thank, thank the Lord. And then Monday, building all the products with Yaz to make sure that everything is ready to go on Wednesday. I can sleep when I'm dead. Now do finish the mood boards, send the call sheets over because I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday. Because we had one-to-ones. And then put my hair in curlers and I'm getting my makeup done today by Luxio, which I'm really thankful about because my Botox is wearing off. My skin is atrocious. I think it's down to lack of sleep and stress standard q4 behavior but you know i'm not complaining like i love it i'm so happy that this is my job and that i care so much about it um and yeah when it all comes together today it's gonna look so good i'm so excited i am getting my makeup done with lou we're gonna make me not look like this look at the state of me right now look at your eyes though how pretty the color is we're about to transition into christmas girl <laughs> taking my rollers out so that once the guys are in the room we can quickly go shoot me while there's daylight um so glamorous in a car park doing my hair but we're excited i hope it's looking all right i can't tell um yeah yes is <laughs> assisting me with my hair um we took a wrong turn in i should say i took a wrong turn in <laughs> yeah not we don't don't we <laughs> and then it added a fifth oh i can see charlotte and adam oh i can see them they're here <laughs> oh, you can't. You can be the cameraman today, though. It just focuses. It has. It's just your head. That's all <laughs> he <likes. laughs> right <there. laughs> This is the glam of uh, shooting and managing the team while being the model and trying to organise everybody. Love it. Loves it. Stress. <laughs> I feel like a mum video in this way. Hey! <laughs> hey, yeah! Oh. Don't, don't do it! Hair school? With Lou? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> do you like like these bits at the front? Mm -hmm. I feel like Thanks, love! Fun. You're right, You've done a great job. Great job. Love it! <sighs> Ooh, there she is. <laughs> Let's see how it made that happen. I'm very tired. I look like I've aged. 
That was such a good shoot and the girls were amazing and the team's amazing and Julie was amazing. It was just amazing. We're now on the train. Hello. It's the next day. <laughs> What's happened? And we're just crossing our fingers and watching to make sure if Charlie wears the new red bella. We're praying. On this women. We keep checking all social media. Keep just doing a quick like email like hey, just check if you get Please wear my dress. <laughs> Love it. Favorite, thank you. Out. So we've got sticky toffee apple. Oh my god, I'm, I've never tried that one and I've always wanted to, so thank you. What a gift. And then, what a way to start my day. <laughs> I got a chicken fajita wrap. Love it. And a sample of Oh, can't go wrong. Keep it Snacks with Evie. So that we live on on a weekly basis next week next week <laughs> okay so whilst em's in london we are going through all the shots from wednesday shoot we're gonna pick some out look at the faves i absolutely love that one that's so good we'll start from the top yes yeah, stunning that is i love gorgeous. it gorgeous the it's, colors look so good together. yeah they do side by side oh. mm -hmm. yes oh Love. this color is so gorgeous Oh, these are the ones I didn't see. The pearls, <gasps> the little showstopper. <laughs> oh yeah, you've not oh, seen these ones. That one's gorgeous. I know. I think that I one. love. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think that's the one. I'm wondering where Max is, and then behind the rubble of Jen's desk, we see him curled up having a little snooze, hiding away from all of life's trouble. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. He looks like a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Ended, but I forgot to vlog the whole afternoon. <laughs> Creative Fest was actually really good. We did some really good um, talks and we thought of some good ideas, which we would, probably wouldn't have thought of um, from a brand perspective. Then I've just left Evie there because now I've just checked into the hotel. I'm going to start getting ready because I've got dinner with New Look tonight. I'm meeting Megan beforehand. We're going to try and film some videos together, but I don't know if we're going to have time now. Um, one thing that we have thought about and was in one of the talks was it was saying that how amazing it is when people leave comments on videos as like a review for the product. So say if like I did a video of the ELR leggings and then so many people have commented on it saying like how amazing the leggings are, which has happened over and over again since we've launched them. That's really helpful because people will look at the comments to see like a review the same way that you once would have done on TripAdvisor, Trustpilot, I can't remember what they said. Um, but yeah, if, if you're watching this and you wanna help ELR grow, then leaving comments saying how amazing certain products are is so helpful to the brand um, and I will love you. And I also wanna do like some incentives around that. So I wanna start doing secret, secret giveaways for people who comment on ELR posts, leaving like a review of the product and I'm gonna pick people at random each week and give them something. I decided to do that today. But I'm gonna get ready now and then go meet the team, a new look and have dinner and I'll, I'm gonna try so hard to remember to vlog, but very tired right now. Look at the state of me, I've got a giant arms, another giant arms spot. <sighs> business girl outfit this is an ELR t-shirt we didn't we stopped doing these now but I don't know why because I absolutely love them they're the same bodysuit material but just as a top and they're so good for work so I'm wearing these new look trousers in a petite leg with this top and it's just perfect business casual girl vibes <laughs> Walking to the 
accommodation. What a lovely little evening. And I was supposed to be taking today off, but close to the Christmas collection. I'm so excited. Do you know you just get like such a good feeling about something? I just feel like this is just our favorite and most anticipated collection ever. So uh, there's just like a real excitement around it. Um, and then Evie's just messaged me with the final illustrations that we're going to be using to launch it tonight, which look amazing. It's something we've never done before. And yeah, I just feel like the illustrator has just completely got the vibe that we wanted for the launch. And the pearls that launched in this collection are like so amazing in their hand sewn. Like it's, it's like a wearable couture collection basically, because a lot of the composition and creation of these pieces like we haven't got mass amounts of quantities because they cannot be like manufactured on a, a line they have to be like hand made um, and I think that's just so special that we were able to do that and yeah it's just it just feels like such a special collection so going that extra mile and having those illustrations done just looks so good this is the most excited i think i've ever been about a launch which is just such a nice feeling and i just feel so happy i'm tired don't get me wrong but it's just gonna be so worth it in a few days time so i'm gonna get the train now back to leeds take the rest of the day off which i really need and just send some few emails and stuff that i've got on the train and then tomorrow I'm gonna to get up and do the YouTube try on with all of the um, collection so that that can go live on Wednesday, just before we launch so you can really see what each piece looks like, what size I'm wearing. If you've got any questions for that video, leave them in the comments here and I'll answer them. But I'm pretty sure I've asked so many, I've got so many questions over on Instagram that I kind of know what to answer. Um, but yeah, I'm just super excited. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this crazy week. I hope you can see like I'm really positive and just I know it's it, it can be like so hard um, at this time of year for so many different industries. But I just think it's just an amazing privilege to be doing my dream. So. I'm happy and I'm thankful and thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you want to see more of like behind the scenes and stuff, I'm going to try and do a lot more. But if there's stuff you think that's so boring I don't care about, let me know because I've never really done these kind of videos of behind, I should drag in sometimes, of behind the brand. Um, and I want it to be as like interesting as possible. But at the same time, I don't know if some of it is just a bit dull and you're sick of hearing me. So yeah, help a girl out, give me some suggestions what should go and what should stay um but i'd love to do more of these thanks for watching bye